<laughs> so what are we going to wake up to tomorrow? We are going to wake up to some fog tomorrow morning Ooh. and also another warm day. Here it it comes. feels okay. like a return to summer Ooh. out there, and it's just going to keep on going as we head into the weekend. We're talking temperatures headed back to the mid 80s for at least one day. That's about 15 degrees above average as we head toward the start of the weekend. But let's start off with what's happening right now. We're going to take you out to a live look from our rooftop camera here at the CBS Broadcast Center. It's a pretty quiet night. Clear skies now that the showers have moved out. There are still a few showers on the radar picture on Storm Scan 3, as I'll show you here and there this evening. But as we go through the overnight hours, those will fizzle. Can't rule one out tomorrow either. Storm Scan 3, again, showing those showers popping up. There are uh, still a couple down here over portions of Maryland that we may have to watch for over the next couple of hours. And you can see this batch right here could bring us a stray one tomorrow. So as we zoom in, again, a couple of showers here and there off to the north. You can see a little sprinkle up near Allentown, maybe one down in Delaware. But again, these are just the kind of showers that come through. You have to flick the windshield wipers once or twice, and then it's pretty much out of the way. Temps right now still warm on that southwest wind. We've got temperatures hanging around the 70 degree mark. Far cry from a couple of nights ago when we were down in the low 50s at this time of night. Now again, 70 still in Philadelphia, 71 in Millville, and 66 in Reading. Allentown's at 68. So with the front hanging out over the next couple of days, it is going to continue to warm up. Then on Saturday, that same front that's just stalled over our region right now, it lifts back to the north as a warm front. There it is. The actual center of the low is right here, and we've got a cold front that's slowly slogging its way through the eastern half of the country. It's mild and muggy with the front nearby. Still a few spotty showers through the rest of tonight and into tomorrow. Rain chance continuing into the weekend. So again, notice about 2 a.m. We still have the chance for a few showers here and there. Tomorrow you wake up to clouds, a stray shower in the afternoon, and then this all starts to lift to the north as we head into Saturday. Saturday clouds in the morning, a little more sunshine around in the afternoon, and it's warm and it's steamy. But then we shift our attention to the Gulf of Mexico and this storm. This is Tropical Storm Nate. Could make landfall this weekend right along the Gulf Coast as a Category 1 hurricane and then a remnant low being pulled up into our region by Monday. That could bring us some significant rainfall. And we haven't really seen much in the way of rainfall since the middle of September, September 16th. We had over two inches of rain. Haven't seen much since then. So an isolated shower tomorrow. The Eagles game doesn't look like a washout, but there will be showers around. So you'll be dodging raindrops if you're heading out to the link for that game. And then Monday, that's when we'll see rain at times through the day with moisture lingering from what could become Hurricane Nate. Mm. Lingering showers Tuesday and then finally cooler by the end of next week. All right.